we are at the uh, East Side Green Market at uh, Beans and Barley. A lot of good things going on today. A lot of people came out. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go check out the check out bio. Go to catwarriors.com. <laughs> Self plug. You gotta love little gray. So yeah, we're uh, we're working with Greener Milwaukee here, uh, giving out literature for the, uh, the city of Milwaukee. Just uh, having a good time. How how you two guys doing? Oh, we're doing great. Good. I am. I can't speak for Grayson. Yeah, Gray. How are you? Good. Good. Do you know any facts about uh, recycling light bulbs or anything like that? No. No, you don't. <laughs> well, you could learn. There's some literature right over there. It's good reading. I'm gonna go see a sweet and biodiesel's made. Do you want to come with me, Grayson? You can learn about biodiesel. My dad told me to stay here. Oh, we're just going right here to this car right here. It's okay. So here we are. Hey guys, how you doing? Good. This is uh, for Green in Milwaukee. Oh, don't worry. It's uh. Oh, it's cheap. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 just uh, recording. This is uh, Squeeze Sim from Future Green. He uh, also works with uh, Biodiesel quite a bit. And your name? Marshall. Marshall, I, I saw you guys at the Domes okay. last yeah. year, and uh, you also run Biodiesel. Yep. Would you guys mind talking about Biodiesel for a little bit? Just uh, how it's how it's made? And... Uh, we just take use cooking oil and mix it with some chemicals, uh, some lime, some alcohol, and make Biodiesel out of it. Okay, what are these samples right over here? Yeah, we'll show it to you. This is the, the grease from the restaurant. Okay. And what I do is I go through a process called transestification. Yeah. And I break that grease into biodiesel and glycerin the, using methanol and sodium hydroxide. And this biodiesel will be uh, dry washed and it becomes pure biodiesel. Pure that, biodiesel. That's pretty safe, biodiesel. Absolutely, it's very safe. And the glycerin goes to a soap maker. Okay, and where, where do you get your uh, your raw oil sway for, for this? I get it from a Chinese restaurant. I have many friends who own Chinese restaurants. That's great. And yeah. you're going you're gonna to start making more of it pretty soon? Absolutely. We're going to make it in the back of my store. Yeah, because we, since we're using it in our, in okay. our vehicles. And how can people find out more about that? Uh, they can send me an email or just look up on biodiesel. Okay, where, what, what's the email address? Uh, sui at futuregreen.net. Okay. Yeah, or they can come to my website, futuregreen.net, and there'll be a link about biodiesel. Very cool. And yeah, Ryan? You actually run this, uh, this car on biodiesel sometimes, do you not? Yeah, I run it on biodiesel all the time. Can we take a, take a look in the trunk to see uh, what you have? The, yeah, the, the trunk has uh, grease in it. Okay. So in here is a, is a tank that I put uh, raw grease. The okay. grease, when I get it from the restaurant, two things I have to do. I take out the water and I take out the impurities. And this tank is heated up to be about 180 degrees. So I start this car on biodiesel. And once the car is warm, this tank will get heated up. And I flip a switch in the cockpit. Then I run, I'm running on grease. And before I shut down this car, Just I have to purge the complete system from the grease. So I flush it back, I put it back on biodiesel, and it flush out the grease. And um, a lot of people are probably confused between grease and biodiesel. What's, what's the difference? Uh, basically, there's two ways you can run the grease in a, any diesel vehicle. You can modify the car and make that into a grease car or you can modify the grease to become biodiesel. So you could do either both. I did both. Okay. That's great. Yeah. Well thanks a lot, Sui. Well thank you very much. Yeah, we'll see you uh, see you again at the East Side Green Market. Absolutely. Alright, bye. Grayson, that's a nice little setup. Are you uh, conserving energy with that?